Today marks week three of our Destination Indiana series. We are headed down to Evansville where the summer people can take to the skies without leaving the tri-state area. How? Well, the city's wartime museum offers visitors a glimpse of the contributions made by the community during World War II. Those who stop by can also take a ride in a place used during the a plane that is doing during the war. Gretchen Ross, that is, with our Evansville sister station, stop by. The world must know what happened and never forget. That quote from General Eisenhower greets visitors as they walk into the Evansville Wartime Museum. The goal of the museum? To understand and, and realize what a contribution this city made to the war effort to help win that war. Without the defense factories and the home front people in the United States, that war would have lasted longer and we would have lost more people. Since Memorial Day 2017, the exhibits inside the museum take visitors on a journey of what life was like for families in Evansville during World War II. First stop, the Homefront Gallery, telling the stories of how the community assisted the war effort in a major way, creating over 300 products. The only place uh, in the United States that made ships, planes, and ammunition. The community gallery shows people how the USO in Evansville helped, along with the Red Cross Canteen, where soldiers received a homemade hot meal. Even the children participated a great deal, uh, either at their schools or some of them worked in the factories. Nearly all the artifacts are donated from residents of the Tri-State, including uniforms of soldiers from the war. Every week, people just walk in that door and say, can you use this? The Honor Gallery highlights the bravery of soldiers from the Tri-State during both World Wars. The main hall features trucks, toolkits, and planes that were produced here in Evansville, including the Hoosier Spirit II, a P-47 built right in the city. 6,242 P-47 Thunderbolts just down the road uh, in a factory that was right next to the museum called Republic Aviation. From artifacts, personal stories, and machinery, the Wartime Museum offers a history lesson for the entire family. And it's a fascinating story, and I think it's something that the city of Evansville can be proud of. Not only can you take a tour here at the Evansville Wartime Museum, but also participate in several events. Up next, July 9th through the 11th, Warbird Weekend. You can take a tour of one of four vintage Warbird planes, as well as a flight, followed by First Responders Weekend, September 11th, and even a Halloween bash. Reporting for Destination Indiana, I'm Gretchen Russ. Well, if you would like to learn more about that Evansville Wartime Museum and other locations around Indiana, head to our website and click on the Destination Indiana tab. Once you're there, you will see all the places that we've highlighted from across the state, especially if you're looking for something to do. Yeah.